The clock is ticking for Russian diplomats here in the United States, but it has both political parties speaking out tonight. In a matter of hours, some staffers and their families have to get out of the country. Now, the scramble comes a day after the White House announced strict sanctions on Russia following the U.S. election hacking scandal. CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw is in the newsroom tonight, and she has more on this developing story. Jennifer? Sam and Christina, by Saturday, 35 Russian diplomats will be leaving the country on orders by President Obama as payback for Russians meddling in the U.S. presidential election. Right. Officials at the Russian consulate in the Bay Area today were tight-lipped aside from a short press conference. We consider these sanctions completely uh, unsubstantiated. As part of the U.S. sanctions, the administration closed a compound in Maryland and another in New York and ordered 35 officials from the embassy and Russian consulate in San Francisco to leave the country. The consul general there says one of the people being asked to leave was a chef at the embassy calling it ridiculous. What happened is they uh, have to leave within uh, hours. And uh, it's, 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 it's just not, not human, frankly, not human. In a tweet from the Russian embassy, Russia was preparing to send aircraft for its ousted personnel, and Putin had been widely expected to retaliate. His surprise decision to hold off drew praise from President-elect Donald Trump. In a tweet Friday afternoon, Trump said, great move on delay. I always knew he was very smart. Representative John Garamendi went on defense saying Trump doesn't have a clue what Russia is actually up to and defended the president. This is not a political play by the um, Obama administration. This is what we needed to do, and that is to smack Russia. Despite the public outrage from Russian diplomats, intelligence experts say the sanctions would have little impact on Russian covert operations. And Sam and Christina, more information concerning the hack will be released in January. All right, Jennifer McGraw, live in the newsroom for us. Jennifer, thank you.